Welcome to another commentary done by a diggity upper right hand corner. We have Ghostifer starting as the pink Protoss, bottom right hand corner of Bon Bon starting as the hot pink Protoss. So Ghostifer changing colors up a little bit. Is this the same peach color and my eyes are just... No, I think he did swap color there. It's like less yellow-ish. This is on butter. And thus far, Ghostifer off to a quick lead. I do believe this is best of five, not best of seven. And so Ghostifer on the edge of advancing to the round of four in very convincing fashion. Bonbon's going to have his work cut out for him. But basically, you have Ghostifer who, in game one, ended up faltering a bit. Falling behind economically and then just steaming ahead through some nice positional movement with his Dragoons. And then in game two... Goes for opting for four gate and just catching Bonbon bon with his pants down, trying to fast expand behind two gates. And I'm wondering if we're going to see more of the same. As, yeah, goes for actually moving out, out yet again with a very early probe scout. So he's going for the 10 gate. As is Bonbon, bon, but a big differential here is that this probe scout exiting Gosefer's base much, much more rapidly to go ahead and get scouting information. It looks like we are going to see an assimilator before first sell it, which suggests that Bonbon bon is hoping to open up earlier Dragoons rather than Zealots. Looks like we're also seeing the same on the opposite side, but I'm wondering if Ghostifer is even gonna hide this probe. Nope, he, he's just gonna go ahead and press in. That is gonna put him behind a bit economically. You can see the differential of about 70 minerals or so. That probe able to go ahead and exit out. It's going to go ahead and grab that scouting information. Three probes on gas immediately. You can see just like the slight delay in the assimilator as well as a result of that probe scout moving out somewhat earlier. So what this is going to do is this is going to give Bon Bon potentially a range advantage for a few seconds. I don't know that he's really going to be able to capitalize on it. Looks like he is throwing that pylon to that back edge. And I have heard many people say, be careful about doing this. So you aren't giving your opponent an opportunity to go ahead and offensively pile on wall back there and drop cannons or something along those lines. Although I think it's a little bit would be less successful at this stage. I wonder what in what circumstances that would end up being successful overall. Maybe against a 12? I think it would have to be like a 14 Nexus to really make that pay off. Initial Zelt trying to chase down that probe in the line that will help prevent Manor Pylons. First Dragoon on the way on both sides as well. And this is interesting. Bonbon bon showing fake range. So definitely wants to follow this up. I'm going to assume with DTs. That is usually... We do see legit range here from Gosefer. First Dragoon's going to pop, pop out momentarily and being able to take out that probe scout. Or at least usher it out of the base. It's going to be significant. It looks like both probes going to return... Home, although Bonbon on the patrol. I think he wants to make sure that this probe isn't just going to cycle, getting a misfire right there. I think he wants to make absolute sure that that probe doesn't cycle back around. And actually, if he keeps up with this, that Zealot, yeah, does need to turn around. Because it could end up getting stutter-stepped all the way back and eliminated. So we do see the Citadel of Dune, so we're definitely seeing... So cancel cancellation of air moving into Citadel of Dune. And so we're definitely going to see DTs here from Bonbon. Bon. Second gateway plop down. And third gateway from Gosefer. So Gosefer going up to the four gate again. So he was thinking, you know what? It worked last time. We caught him off guard. So let's just go ahead and go to four gate. Now, here's the problem for Bonbon. Bon. He's going to have Dark Templar. All he needs to do is hold. But there are going to be a lot of Zelts and a lot of troops on the ground. So if he can just hold, there's going to be no detection in Gosefer's base. But there is a world where, just through some superior micromanagement with some body blocking, Gosefer might just be able to wipe everything out with a continuous funnel of units into his opponent's base. But as things stand, it looks like this is very likely going to be a build order victory for Bonbon. Bon. Putting a Photon Cannon down near his natural expansion. I think he's trying to telegraph that he's going for an expand. Rather than this clever play right here. 
But here's the thing. This is four units here. This is going to be another four units to follow. We got four units on the ground to engage initially. This is only one gateway worth of unit production and cannons to try to hold otherwise. So it is possible that the Dark Templar just, the Dark Templar as their field to just don't do enough damage. So it'll come down to, first of all, reaction play on Gosefer's part. Gosefer does not look like he sees that Dark Templar. Nope, sees the Dark Templar and just straight up GG's. Doesn't want to play it. <laughs> It's like, I don't have detection. You're going to wipe out my probe lines, and I don't want to try to fight it out from there. So, Bonbon bon takes a quick victory. <laughs> and I kind of like that play, actually, in Gosefer's part, because, like, even doing that, that would have been crazy. That would have been a crazy hard fight. So, might as well just call it here. You've got a game to spare. So, we're going to move on to game four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.